Hey, what's up guys? I'm Andrew from Kershaw at SHOT Show 2018. And we've got the 2018 Kershaw and ZTE lineup for you. So let's get started. Up first, we've got the Camp 10 Tan. So a couple years ago, we came out with the Camp 10 and this year we've updated it with an awesome FDE flat dark earth color scheme. So it's the same great knife, same awesome features, even more rugged looking than it was before. We've taken the handle and ch changed it from black to this FDE, and we've changed the gray pommel and guard to black. So check this out. It's an awesome knife if you're not familiar with the Camp 10. It's full tang, 10 inches, 65 mn steel, um, with this black oxide coating on it to help protect the blade and keep it in, in good shape. Uh, it's really awesome, really well balanced. It has this really epic kukri kind of shape to the blade. Um, yeah, 10 inches, full tank construction, it's an excellent knife. Also comes with this really great uh, plastic sheath. You might be familiar with the Ration. Uh, it's a, it's a basically a spork tool, really compact, small, comes with a carabiner gate as well. Well now we've got it in three awesome colors. We've got it in Kermit the Frog green, orange, and this teal right here. Uh, and this, all these have a food safe coating on them, um, so you'll be, you'll be good to go with those. Now if those were a little bit too small for you, We've got the Ration XL, which is about two or three times as long as those. It might be, you know, if those are too small, it might be a little bit more usable, especially if you're eating out of a mountain house bag or, you know, something much larger. And these come in just classic bead blast and that same awesome Kermit the Frog green. All right, moving right along. This right here is called the Fault Line. It's new, coming out new this year. We've got 8CR 13 MOV blade, black oxide finish on it. It opens with KVT, so it's really smooth. You see how smooth that action is right there? It's got awesome glass-filled nylon uh, handles on here, but what's really cool about this is this insert here. The neat thing about this insert is that we didn't just glue it in. What we did is it's part of the same mold. So this is one piece. It's a two-shot mold, which means that this isn't just going to peel out. This should hold up pretty well. Uh, it just goes with the theme of the knife. I mean, this knife is a workhorse right here, and it'll serve you really well. So that's the fault line. All right, up next, we have the Duo Jet, inspired by and named after an amp. It has this, these carbon fiber inlays right here, which is something new that we're doing this year with having inlays of carbon fiber. Opens with speed safe, gray PVD finish on the blade. Um, it has some really neat chamfers on here as well. If you look at the back, you can see that it's a frame lock and has a deep carry clip uh, that's single position. After that, we've got the fringe. It's a really great size, really comfortable for everyday carry. Uh, it's also really, really thin and sleek, uh, really slim profile there and lightweight, which is awesome. Again, we've got a carbon fiber inlay on that front handle scale and a really neat stair-stepped rippling texture that goes down so that it just kind of it feels good when you hold it in your hand. Um, it's awesome. It's a really great size and shape, very lightweight, also speed safe with a gray PVD finish. After that, we have a knife called the Outright. It's got a blue PVD finish over the whole knife. Uh, it opens with SpeedSafe, uh, which is really nice. It's got really great action on there. Another awesome thing about this knife is that it's got a real G10 overlay um, on there. So, you know, again, adds to that grip. It has that upswept Persian blade, so it's kind of unique. Uh, yeah, and has, like I said, blue PVD over everything. Hardware, blade, back, the clip, everything. We got a single position deep carry clip as well. Frame lock opens with SpeedSafe. Moving along, for Yin's answer, this year we've got two knives. We have the Tan Fraction and the Method. Both of these knives are inset liner locks, and we, we worked with Yin's Anso on both of these. So if you're familiar with the Fraction, um, we did the same thing that we did with the Camp 10. We changed that black G10 to a tan G10 to give it kind of a more maybe outdoor, rugged, maybe tactical, tactical vibe. And this has carbon fiber on the top. And what we did with several of these knives that have carbon fiber as that overlay, we have several layers of G10. The top layer is carbon fiber and that's all compressed together. And then you take that one piece and you machine away the carbon fiber so you can reveal the G10 underneath. And what that means is that this isn't gonna peel off. It's not a sticker. It's real carbon fiber on top of that G10. So you get the carbon fiber class but the G10 costs in price. This has a black wash blade. Both of these open on KVT ball bearing washers, so you get a really smooth action. This is the method. Um, it has all G10 handle scales, inset liner lock, um, super lightweight knife. Um, it's a really great knife, especially for the, the price that it comes in at. 
um, at just around $40 MSRP. You also have in the backspacer this molded in lanyard loop right here, which is really awesome. I feel like it's a, I think it's a very iconic, uh, a very characteristic element of Yen Zanso's designs. So we're bringing that through in this knife. It has a, this upswept blade right here, very unique, uh, very easy to open and close on those KVT ball bearing washers. All right, after that, we have a Rick Hinder collaboration. This is based off of his custom, the Maximus. We're calling this the Decimus to keep in line with that, and it's an epic knife. You gotta check this out. It has a black wash blade, 8CR13 MOV steel. We've got a bayonet grind on here, which is something kind of unexpected, but it fits the knife really well. Uh, and it just adds that aggressive, rugged, tactical feel to this knife. As you go down, you can see it has a dagger look, but fortunately, this, the top part here is not sharp, so you don't have to worry about cutting yourself. Um, yeah, and then we've got this wonderful overlay on this that kind of gives it that Rick Hinder, that Rick Hinder vibe and feel. It's glass-filled nylon overlay with a Hinder-inspired texture. We also have a filler tab and a clip on the back, so it, which is which works on the front and the back, um, and that also brings that Rick Hinder vibe to this knife. We've got stonewash scales, opens with speed safe, and is a frame lock knife. Uh, another great thing about this knife is that the, fin the finger guard, the cross guard here also works as the flipper with which you open the knife. So that's really awesome. This is the Decimus uh, that we worked on with Rick Hinder. Another collaboration that we did with RJ Martin is the fly through. This one has the iconic RJ see through pivot there, which is really great because it's symmetrical both on the front and the back is what, you, is what you've got there. It's a very innovative, iconic, just really different, uh, very different pivot than what you usually see. Uh, one thing I really like about this knife is that in this front scale here, you can see we have this, this window, this reveal, and the blade tang is actually shaped so that it kind of, it fits within that, within that reveal. It's just a nice detail when it's closed, you know, you don't see it, but then when you open the knife, it's just an added, you know, second read detail that you get there. It's really nice. There's beautiful chamfering on this, on this, these handle scales, and you have a, a two position clip, you can put it on the front or on the back, so it's, it's ambidextrous, deep carry clip, the whole knife. It has a black oxide finish for a really stealthy look. So that's the fly through by RJ Martin. So lastly for our collaborator knives, we have two that we've worked on with Dmitry Sinkovich. Uh, Dmitry's done some really excellent designs on the ZT side for us and we've been really happy with that work. So we wanted to bring it to mass market, make it available to the everyday consumer. So up first with that, we have the Atmos. Again, opens on those KVT ball, uh, ball bearing washers, so it's super smooth action there. Um, really easy to get to that inset liner lock there to open and close the knife. Um, it has a two-tone finish, sanded flats, with that satin finish on the grind right there. Again, we have that carbon fiber over the G10, which is really you know, solid one-piece handle construction, um, or, or the, this handle scale is just you know, one piece of the G10 and carbon fiber. Um, yeah, and it's again, the inset liner lock, this knife is very lightweight. And it's a really great size for everyday carry. All right, now we have, this might be my favorite one that we've done this year. This is called the Concierge. Again, this is a collaboration with Dmitry Sinkovich. Just an overall excellent knife. Uh, this knife is all about elegance and simplicity. Um, again, it's a, it's a pretty large knife, but it doesn't feel like it because of the shape and the design of the knife. It has these awesome G10 overlays. This is real G10 on there. And the way that it's been contoured, it's, you can see it's pretty thick around the middle, so you can get a really a good grip on it. But around the edges, it's been contoured so that it doesn't feel blocky at all. It feels really smooth, again, and really simple and elegant. Simple pivots on the front and on the back. Uh, and something also really unique about this knife, it has a recessed pocket clip. This is something that I hadn't seen before, uh, but this is based off a design that Dimitri's done. And it's really neat, unique to the knife. It's a little bit more low profile, and so it keeps that with that slimmer profile of the knife. Um, it works, works well, it's just something that's really different and unique. Uh, again, this has 8CR, 13 MOV steel with gray PVD finish on the blade, pivot, and the, the scales and the pocket clips. This is the concierge. So this year we're filling in the Natrix family with like five or six new, new installments. So it's really awesome. We've got something for everybody here uh, in a lot of different sizes, inversions, different handle treatments. So up first, we've got the big brother. So this right here, this is the Natrix XL. This is the big brother of the family. G10 handle scales, black oxide finish on the blade. This blade is 3.75 inches long. So it's the longest blade that we've got on the Kershaw side this year. Really lightweight, even though it's so big, because of the G10 handle scales, it really doesn't feel that heavy. Uh, we're able to get away with that because like all the Natrixes, 
we have the, um, the subframe lock, patented subframe lock here. Um, so you have the structural integrity of a frame lock, but you can use really interesting and lightweight materials for the handle. This opens with KVT um, and has black oxide hardware and a two position clip that's also deep carry. So that's the Natrix XL. Next up, this is the carbon fiber Natrix. So you get that awesome, classy, exciting, flashy carbon fiber on the top with the G10 handle scale. It's that same thing I was talking about where you have several layers of G10, the top layer is carbon fiber, they're compressed, then the carbon fiber is machined away. So you get just a really unique look to this knife. We have gray PVD on the blade and the, the pivot here. So it brings again that kind of that, that simple uh, vibe and that class, classy look to it. Again, subframe lock on the back, also with the gray PVD and the clip as well. That's the carbon fiber matrix. Now we've got the, this is kind of the evil twin of the, of the Natrix, it's wearing all black, super stealthy, um, kind of tactical looking, I guess, in that regard. Uh, this is the black Natrix. It's got a black oxide blade, black everything on this knife, hardware, G10, the subframe lock and the clip. Um, it's a really good size, opens with KVT. Now, this is really cool. Get ready for this. We've got the copper Natrix. So there's two really excellent things about this knife. First off, obviously, we have copper handle scales, something totally new that we're doing with this, really interesting. And again, we can use copper because of the patented subframe lock that gives that strength and structural integrity to the knife while allowing us to use a material that you ordinarily couldn't use in a frame lock knife. The second really awesome thing about this knife, even though it's really small, we put D2 steel on this blade. So it's a much, you know, it's really good edge retention and it's a really excellent quality steel that we're using on the blade of this knife. So this is the copper Natrix. Um, this is kind of the baby brother of the family. All right, so lastly, for the Natrix family, we have the uh, 7777 Quad 7 bare knuckle. This is the piece de resistance in this family. This is a USA made Kershaw knife. We have a three and a half inch blade, stone wash finish. It's 14C, 28 inch steel. Um, and then we've got the, that classic USA Kershaw aluminum here. Um, it's just, you know, really, really amazing. Um, what's nice about this one too, is that a lot of the Kershaw USA knives that we do that are a value Kershaw USA, usually just have a flat handle scale with that aluminum, which looks great. But this is even better because it has, you can see it's been kind of shaped, machined and contoured just to give some more interest to the knife. A really cool pivot on here with that black oxide finish as well as the hardware. Beautiful, simple backspacer uh, in the back. And again, as you can see, we're allowed, we can use this aluminum here and get away with it because we have that patented sub frame lock that gives it the integrity of a frame lock while using the awesome, um, beautiful aluminum handle scales there. We've got a two position clip on this. It opens with KVT for a really smooth, classy opening. And again, this is USA made, uh, which is really awesome. Uh, one last thing that I uh, should have brought up earlier. This year, we've created a, um, a custom pivot tool. So for the fly through and for the 609, which I'll get to in a minute, they have a, a very interesting and very different pivot on there, which is a see-through pivot. So occasionally, you know, it's a great knife and it'd be a shame if you weren't able to, you know, tighten it up and fine tune it. So we've developed a pretty good tool to do that. This is a custom pivot tool just for this, this see-through pivot. And the way it works is there are these six pins that correspond with the six holes on each side of this. And you can stick it in on either side there. And that allows you when you turn it to fine tune uh, the, the tightness on that pivot there. So these knives are I mean, excellent knives and this will help you keep them in shape. It's made out of steel and the, the pins are not, you know, they're not dropped in there. This is all one piece of steel that's been machined. And it's really fun too. They're held together by magnets. All right, so let's move on to the ZT. First off, we've got another collaboration with Dmitry Sinkovich. This knife is excellent. It's 3.7 inches in blade, in the blade length. It's a massive knife, but it doesn't feel like it at all. It only weighs 3.7 ounces. And the way that we've done that is that we have this front handle scale here that is carbon fiber with this awesome kind of red infused into that carbon fiber, super lightweight. And on the back, we have a titanium back handle scale. And if you can zoom in to catch this, this is really neat. We have, I don't know if you can see it or not in the video, but we have a lot of machined pockets on the inside of this back handle scale, so which make it super lightweight. We've also engraved zero tolerance on there. So this, this knife right here is all about the hidden details. It's got a really unique Persian blade. It's based off of Dimitri's Polychoki design, also similar to the 460 that we did. It's a larger version of that. So if the 460 was a little small for you, this is the knife for you. 
This blade, all of our ZT knives have CPM 20 CV steel uh, this year, which is really awesome. It's our top-notch steel, trying to bring you guys the best. It's got a two-tone finish, satin on the grinds, stone wash on the flipper and on the flats. You flip it over, you can see we have a bent titanium clip, um, which is really great. It's got the ZT logo engraved in there. So it's all in all, really, really awesome knife that we worked on with Dmitry Sinkovich. That's the 462. Next up, we've got a Rick Hinder collaboration. This is the 393. So a while back, we had a, uh, a limited run of the 392, which was a really big hit. So we wanted to take that knife and make it more accessible to the everyday enthusiast. So this right here is a 392. It's a little bit lighter than the 393, and it's got this awesome blade. You gotta check this out. It's got it's a harpoon spanto blade. So it's a harpoon shape, similar to what Rick has on one of his XM18s. Um, but it also has the Spanto grind right here, which is like a combination of a spear tip knife and a, uh, and a Tonto uh, blade, which is just really awesome, super unique, and adds a lot of character to this knife. If you go down, we've got black DLC on the flats there and satin on the grinds, which really helps to show off that, that really unique grind. We have blue anodized titanium, which is just awesome. We're finally bringing some more interesting color into the, into the ZT line. I think it fits in really well with what we've got going on. This is a custom Rick, tech, Rick Hinderer texture on this overlay here, um, which really helps you get a really good grip on the knife. It feels great, uh, G10 overlay, it's just excellent. Um, overall, this knife really feels like a Rick Hinderer knife, which I, I really like about it. It's got that jimping down here on the bottom that again brings that characteristic home. We've even got a filler tab in here so that when you uh, flip the clip, you know, you can have that filler tab in there. Again, that's something that Rick does a lot on his knives. And we're bringing that here um, to give you an, an iconic Rick Hinderer collaboration. Uh, so that's this one. Again, CPM 20 CV steel. All right, lastly from ZT, this is my favorite one that we've got. This is an RJ Martin collaboration. It's the 609. So similar to the, the 392 and 393, a while back we made the 606, which was a really cool limited run, but it was just that, it was a limited run. So now we've got a production piece that we've made a little bit smaller, a little easier to carry every day. It's got excellent machining on it. We did not hold back at all with this knife. Um, CPM 20 CV steel, opens with KVT, so it's really smooth. This also has that iconic RJ see-through pivot, which is really nice, with a um, polished finish on that and the hardware. Um, as you go down the knife, you can see it's titanium handle scales with a bronze anodized finish, which just looks beautiful. Again, bringing some color into the ZT line. And the texture on here is definitely my favorite part. It's a really intricate texture that we have on the front and on the back, which is really nice. Uh, so it looks good on the window, and it also looks good, you know, 360 degrees, where however you look at it, it's there, it's awesome. Um, the nice thing about this texturing, though, is it's not just aesthetic, it also really does give you a really good grip on this knife, and it really feels excellent uh, when you hold it in your hand. It's an ergonomic knife, it's also really, you know, organic and excellent. Also has a two-position clip, as you can see on the back there with zero tolerance engraved in there. This is a frame lock. Uh, something that we do with, with all of our frame lock knives that's really, really nice and really excellent is we have a lock puck in there. So if you have titanium, eventually after a, a while it will wear on the back of that blade tang and it'll get gummy and sticky and just it won't work as well. So what we do is we take a steel lock puck and we put it in there so that it's steel on steel, which means that basically you get longer, better use out of this knife. And we've got that on all three of our frame lock knives. It's just it's something that we do to give you better longevity and the products that you buy from us. So that's what we've got from ZT this year. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more, feel free to follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, yeah, and our, our catalogs are available online if you want to download those. So yeah, have a great day, guys. Thanks.